guys welcome back or welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own digital journal digital planner whatever you want to use it for it's so simple and easy once you get your head around it so if you just follow these steps you'll be a pro by the end of it so first of all we need to choose one of the powerpoints i usually just go with white because it's much easier to customize then you'll want to delete these off the front page and depending on what orientation you want the book to be you can go into document setup and slide size so if you want it to be landscape if you're making like a scrapbook or something then that's probably best for you but if you're making a notebook for schoolwork i'd say go with portrait so that's what i normally use i'll show you some of my examples at the end but first of all you need to add your like background kind of thing so you want to grab a shape pull it out and make sure you leave enough room for your tabs so we've left enough room at the top and at the sides for the tabs and i'm gonna make the corners a little bit sharper so it looks like a proper proper book you know um and then what you want to do is edit it so go on the paintbrush go with fill and then image um i'd recommend any kind of anything really i usually go on to pinterest and have a scroll through of their photos and find one that i like so like this i'll click download image and then i will edit it in go change image click that there and stretch because i find that makes it nicer to look at um then what you'll need to do is add in an image of the ring binders this is quite hard to do well i made these on procreate myself but i found it really challenging to make the actual holes my first time doing it so if you guys would like to use mine i will put them on my um website under free downloads and you can download it if that would be more helpful so once you've put the little rings here what you want to do is add in didn't leave enough room for my tabs <laughs> want to add in say another shape okay and these will be your tabs so i want my tabs to be blue so we'll put this up here make it the shape you want make it the width you want then copy and paste however many you want you can do them down the sides or at the top it's completely up to you so i'm just gonna add in four up here and you can select all of these and then send them to the back by going on arrange then what you want to do is copy the slide and paste it here and now you're making what's essentially your paper so i grab just the square icon and i will drag that out and then change it to white or you can have gray whatever you'd rather have but let me just change my background because that's kind of distracting how white it is <laughs> so i'm just changing my background by clicking on the back and then clicking the paintbrush and changing it to an image there we go so that looks better so now what we want to do is now we've got the pages we click on the page move it behind so it's behind the rings and there 
essentially is your page so what you'll then want to do is copy this page however many times you'd like so i'm just going to do four for each of the tabs obviously you can add more in each section so now what you'll do is click on the tab that you want to link you click the link button and you want to go link to slide two and then you want to do that with all of your tabs so your third your third tab will go to your third slide essentially so this tab second tab is going to my third slide and third tab is going to my fourth slide and my fourth tab is going to my fifth slide so now what you want to do i mean you can definitely go on each slide and do the tabs manually but what i like to do because it's so much quicker is select click on the tab hold it down and then you can multi-select and then you want to copy it and then go onto your page and paste it and then you want to move it to the back so you do this on all of your pages like so and that will create your hyperlinks so what you'd then be able to do is paste the slides so say we wanted to copy that paste and then you've got the slide there with the same links to each which is always useful then obviously you can go to the front cover and i usually like to add in like a little book title kind of thing here and i'll put it as like a, a gray where i'll then write my subject or my name or whatever i want on there depending on what i'll be using this for and you can also add in lines if you want to like decorate things obviously you can choose different borders so if you wanted to add that in around your around your text bubble but yeah that is essentially all you have to do and I bet it's so much easier than you thought. So what you want to do next is click export as a PDF. And then you'll want to copy to GoodNotes. Or whatever kind of app that you use. So we'll import it as new document to study planners. So what you now have to do if you'd like to say right on it do so like that but to be able to use the tabs you need to turn off the pen function so you've got to click up here and you can then click on the tabs and they will take you to each page so if i just show you here we'll say page ignore my handwriting that's awful page one and then sub page one and then we want to say page two page three page four so now when you go back to the front and we click off the pen option we can click on the first one it will take us to page one then we can swipe to the sub page one or we can click on the same tab to go back to page one next you can click on the second tab it will take you to page two 
and then you click on third tab to take you to page three and fourth tab to take you to page four and that is essentially it then you can customize it however you want and do whatever you want with it i'll just show you a few examples so here no that's the wrong one <laughs> so here i had a bit of a play around and i made some flashcards. so this is the respiratory system as an example so if we click here we go to the index page and flashcard one is the aviolai and then i can click next to see the definition and then i can click home and go through the same process or i can go straight to the index and click on whatever card i'd like to study we also have i think i may have removed no here summary books so what i spent a lot of time doing was making these summary books for my a levels and so here i'll have a tab for each of the topics so here we've got the contents page and that's all of the so we've got revision progress and all of those different things i've not really filled it out yet and then on the second tab we've got like the cell like the first topic so which is foundations in biology and we can go on to cell structure and yeah it's really useful like once you get the hang of it honestly you'll be able to do anything with it so i hope this has helped and if you have any questions leave them below or contact me on instagram bye